Well, this is a surprise. After searching through the forest for four hours, what do I find? A couple of small fry grim a bit too close to the village. <sighs> and five of you were spotted, and yet I only find three. After four hours of making as much noise as I can, only three of you decide to show up. Oh well, this will only take a minute, then I'll be back to hunting, I guess. Although, it feels like a bit of a waste using two swords on you. Small fry like you should only take one, but I'm a bit short on time since I've got other things to be doing today than hunting through this bloody forest. So, sorry about this, but I need to finish you lot quickly. Ah, <laughs> oh, hardly worth the effort. But I suppose we can't have Grim floating around near the village in case they get one of the civilians. Mm, two more to go. It doesn't sound like Souls found anything yet. Ah! Scratch that. Four down, one to go. Oh, and with that, looks like we're done for the day. Five gram down. <sighs> Four bloody hours to find a couple of little small fry. Hardly worth it. But, had to be done. Best to get it over with before we had to leave. Well, at least I've still got some of my day left. If I rush back to the village quickly, maybe I can actually say goodbye to some people and pack before heading the beacon. But, hmm, I feel there's something else I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh well, I'm sure I'll remember on the way back. If not, it probably wasn't that important. Hmm, that took quite a bit more of my day than I expected. I wonder if I have enough time to actually pack and find anyone to say goodbye to. Uh, it'd be good if I could. It's going to be quite a while before I see anyone again. Uh huh. One second. Uh, what? Oh, ha ha, Jin. Ha! So my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. There is indeed a you sitting in my place. You know, most guys would be happy to have a beautiful girl waiting for them when they get home. No. Most guys who locked their door when they left their place would be a little bit frightened by the fact that a girl just found their way in. Yeah, yeah, what the hell? Ah, well, Karma lent me a key. Wait, what? Why has Karma got a key? Uh, that's probably something you should ask Karma. Oh, that bloody fox. Okay then, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. You got in with a key you got from Karma. Better question is, why are you in my place? Ah, uh, well, I thought I'd come see you before you head off to Vin- No, 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 no. The real reason why you're in my place, Yaya, yeah, you could have caught me anywhere for that, but you're in my place, waiting. There's a reason. What have you done? Who are you hiding from? What? No, no. I'm not hiding from anyone. I totally just came to see you. Oh, God. Who have you annoyed this time? Should I be worried about my door getting blown off? Oh, uh, you know, you could at least pretend to believe me. Oh, please. I know you too well. Okay, so what have you done? Oh, it's nothing serious. Yeah, yeah. You're hiding in my place. You have clearly taken someone off that is worth hiding from. Ah. Oh. Fine. I may have upset a cat ski a little bit. Oh, a cat ski? Jeez. Even I know not to mess around with her. Hmm, I can't see why you're hiding from her though. Even I would be a little bit scared if I managed to take her off. Although, you're kinda screwed because both of you are heading off to Shade Academy soon. Ugh, don't remind me. Plus, I'm not even gonna have you to use as a human shield since you're away off to Vale. Or Soul, or Karma, because all three of us decide to go to Beacon. Which, I still don't get why you three applied for there, but... Oh well, what's done is done, I suppose. Anyway, I did decide while hiding here it would be a good time to come see you since I'm probably not going to see you for a good few months. And by months you mean years? No, I mean months because the Vital Festival will be in our first year. Which means I'll see you there. Oh yeah, that will be interesting. You know, most people would question if they even get to compete in a tournament like that. It is like the best teams that get to compete in that, you know? Yeah, well, we're not most people, are we? You'll definitely be there, with whoever you're with. And even if I have to carry the whole team my back, I'll definitely be there. Oh, well, I'll be sure to remember that. But anyway, Yaya, could you, like, maybe get out of my place now? I have things to be doing. You know, packing for Vale, we head out tomorrow. Plus, if I still get time, I would like to try and find some people to maybe say goodbye to. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to find anyone. Most of them are out doing jobs and stuff. Oh, well... Great timing, I guess. <sighs> guess I'll just pack then. 
then I guess I'll just help because I don't need to pack it for another week. Which is another thing I don't get. Why on earth are you three going off to Vale so early? Eh, Karma's idea. We wanted to head into Vale for a bit before we actually start a beacon. Which I'm totally down for, so I can go and get a little land, you know? And by that you mean pick out all the best places to buy food. Well, yeah. Ah, uh, you are predictable. Predictable, lovable, pretty unstoppable when I feel like it. But anyway, enough chit chat. If you're going to stick around, I suppose you can come help me pack. But come nightfall, you're out of here. Because I'm up early tomorrow to get, make this trip for Vale. I'm going to enjoy this. Wakey wakey gin. Ugh, Sol, it's too early for this crap. What in Monty's name have I done to annoy you this time? Actually, how did you even get in here? I borrowed a key off Karma. Why does Karma have a key? Anyway, it seems you forgot something rather important yesterday in the forest. I forgot something in the forest? Uh, no, I don't think I did. <sighs> Monty, give me strength. Jin, you forgot me, you moron. Wait, what? We set out to beat five little Grim that were a bit too close to the village, correct? Yeah, and I beat three of them, and I heard you beat the other... Oh. Oh. Yes, you heard I beat the other two. Then wandered back off to the village, leaving me in the forest for hours searching for the other ones. If it makes you feel any better, I didn't do it intentionally. Ah, <sighs> well, you know what? Strangely, it doesn't. But no matter. It's time to get up. Really? I could have sworn I had an alarm set for the right time. Well, plans changed. Karma came clawing at my door, and when he said he hadn't woke you up yet, I insisted in coming and giving him a hand. Eh, after yesterday, I can't really blame you. So we're even then. <sighs> yes, I suppose we're even, Jin. Now hurry up. Karma's waiting in another room. So Sleeping Beauty finally awakens and graces us with his presence. Ugh. Karma, why couldn't you have told me last night that you planned for us to get up earlier? Well, I could have, but then I heard you'd piss Soul off, so I thought this would be more hilarious. Of course you did. Now, on to more important matters. How have you got a key to my place? Well, my sister has a key, I copied the key, now I've got a key, and pretty much lend it to anyone who needs it. Wait, why does your sister have a key? You're honestly surprised my sister has a key? She looks at you like a little brother. Of course she has a key. Eh, fair enough. So, why are we up so early? Well, while our travel plans haven't changed, you are involved in them. And since you're involved in them, we thought it'd be best to leave early in case some unexpected surprises happen. You are literally a trouble magnet. Taking that into consideration, I felt it'd be best that we leave a little earlier than initially planned. You know, I'd like to argue that fact, but I really can't. A lot of trouble does tend to happen around me. Which I can't really complain about either, because I bloody love it. Yeah, and only you would enjoy being surrounded by fights and unexpected surprises all the time. Eh, it keeps life interesting. So then, we going off to Vale? Yep, got all of our travel planned. So whenever you're ready, let's go. Awesome. Then, off to Vale we go then, shall we? This sucks. Like, seriously, Karma, in all the ways we could have gotten to Vale, why... Did we have to take the bullet head for the longest part of it? Like, I get it's a long trip, and I knew we'd have to take several modes of transport, but did you have to pick the one I hate the most for the longest piece of it? Like, do you just like watching me suffer? Is that what it is? Oh, believe me, Jen, we're all suffering here with how you whine like a little baby. Seriously, it's just a little bit of motion sickness. A little bit of motion sickness? I threw up my breakfast and... Oh, God. Well, you threw up your breakfast on the bus to the bullhead. Because buses suck too, but seriously, bullheads are like ten times worse. Look, you knew this was coming. By the end of the day, this is the quickest way to get to Bill. The only other method we could have took was possibly by boat, but that would have just prolonged your suffering since that would have took far longer to reach our destination. Meh, fine. I guess I'll just lie here and suffer then. 
Oh, cheer up, Jed. It's about like an hour, what, 12 hours of flying to go? Ah. Jin, believe me, if the last ever has taught us anything, it's that you're suffering, but could you at least get up off the floor? Ugh, fine. But seriously, when we do reach Phil, I need to go fill my stomach with something. Uh, well, as much as it pains me to be the bearer of more bad news for you, Jin, uh, by the time we arrive in Vale, it's unlikely any decent places will still be open to serve you food, so... Ugh... Why, oh why, oh why did we pick to travel like this? Oh, come now, Karma. Now you're just being cruel to him. Well, it's gonna be a long flight, so I need to find some way to entertain myself. Ugh, oh, Karma, you seriously suck, you know that. But, eh, hey, on a brighter note, once this day of hell's over, we'll have nearly a full week to go venture around Vale before Beacon starts. That is, assuming you can stay out of trouble long enough so we make it to Beacon. Eh, it's only a week, and, I mean, this close to a new school year, what possible trouble could I get into in that time? And now you've jinxed it. Ugh, oh, it's a pain just thinking about it. We are definitely gonna have our hands full keeping an eye on him this next week. Week? We're gonna have to look after him for the next four years. Oh god, don't remind me. Oh, come on, I'm not in that much trouble. You know, just thinking of it now, why did we sign up for Beacon with him? Well, who else was gonna keep him out of trouble? I mean, if we didn't go keep an eye on him, how else are we going to keep him out of jail or in a ditch? You two know I'm right here suffering, right? Ah yes, we signed away our future for the next four years, all because we're such good friends. Yep, no going back now, our fates are sealed. Jeez, you two are dramatic. I mean, come on, we're going to one of the best combat skills. There can't possibly be that much trouble I can get into over there, right? Well, unintentional trouble anyway.